St. Bonaventure's gonna dance. That was last year, this is a new year, and um, it's time to do the same thing again. I thought it was a great college game. Um, you know, we knew going into the game, VCU was really good, uh, turning teams over 22 times a game, um, blowing teams out. Um, you know, I give our guys credit. I thought we played really, really hard. Um, we just didn't play good enough uh, against a very good team. Um, but I thought our energy level was there. Um, the effort was there. We made some mistakes. Um, we didn't defend, especially in the second half, the way we needed to, uh, to, to defend. But I thought our guys, you know, against VCU, you can't, you can't take a step back. Um, you can't blink. You gotta. You gotta attack. And, and I thought our guys did that for the most part. Um, you know, it's you know, not, there's no more victories in this in this sport. Um, but at the same time, I, I you know, I thought our guys played hard, and, and that's the beginning and something I think hopefully we can build on, um, give ourselves a chance to win. Uh, we just didn't have enough plays uh, against a, a, a talented team like this game. Been a little bit of a problem for Endoy. Oh, my goodness! P.O.B., thing of beauty. Hello! That was filthy. Filthy! And a timeout from Chris Mack. Demetrius Conger. Unbelievable! The elevation, the power! Filthy, my friend! He Give ignites it to him. the Riley Center! Endoy sends it back. He's doing everything. He can send some stuff back. He has shown he can score. And then here he shows I can defend, too. Seven footer around the rim. Races a lot of mistakes when you have a shot. Game. 
That was his first block. Redford driving Hopkins <laughs> and Clay sends it back. Sometimes a touch block works against one of your guys, but that's a statement though when you slap it into row eight. Oh my goodness. God. He says, Brad Redford, take it back out to the three-point line. And what way to be alert. You know, we played hard. Uh, we just didn't finish. Uh, give Xavier credit. They made the plays when they needed to make them. Um, but I thought, you know, it was could have gone either way. Uh, disappointing uh, in, in losing. I thought we had a great crowd. Um, I thought our guys played um, played hard. Just we got to continue to work at it and, and get better. Um, but it was a great college game, and um, it, it was no embarrassment about losing that game. It's just it's frustrating when you get so close and, and not be able to make the plays at the end. And the win for Memphis. Xavier and St. Bonaventure, number eight. Yasu Endoy with a block party. Swatting a couple away there. And, and we got more of this game coming up. Yeah, right now. Uh, Demetrius Conger. Desperate, basically, um, and you know we didn't want to push this losing streak to seven games. On uh, and coming, and I'd have to come back to Philly and then playing a tough St. Louis team. You know, possibly losing like nine in a row. You know, so um, you know we were just tired of losing. And um, we came out and we didn't flinch. Um, we looked right in the eye and uh, we threw the first punch and um, we maintained the lead almost the whole game. I mean, obviously it's a uh, it was a big win for the for the program. You know. Um, we're like 0 and 31 before that in Temple, um, but most importantly, we got the win and um, uh, finally feeling like uh, you know, I'm, I'm starting to really contribute to the team. Um, that's going to propel us, myself, and the team forward. Um, in the season. Uh, I mean, as a shooter, obviously, um, you know, seeing the first couple shots going in, um, seeing the ball going in the net, um, and also the one big thing is that it, it gives your teammates confidence in you. So, um, you know, they'll, they'll set a screen, they'll set a better screen for you, you know, they'll, they'll look for you more, um, you know, so if you have confidence in yourself, coaches have confidence in you, calling the play for you, your teammates have confidence in you, then, um, you know, it makes you that much, that much easier, that much open. All you have to do is make the shots that you've been practicing all year. It's a credit to our players, and then they hung in there, they fought, um, they wanted a losing streak, and people said that, you know, we had no chance today, and they didn't listen to them, they, you know, they just kept them working. And, I'm proud of their effort. You know, we, not only do we play hard, we play well. We get shots when we need to get shots. We get stops when we need to get stops. We execute, you know, when we play playing hard. Uh, together with execution, we get the chance to win. Six game losing streak. Johnson hits a huge three. Chris Johnson, second triple, give him eight. Maybe a Switches. I'm how we play in the ball screen defense, number three and number eleven. 
We are going over the top. Everybody else can go underneath. All right, but understand. All right, five leg, you're gonna see that as well. All right, I'm gonna defend the staggers. I'm gonna defend the post. If our guard is getting posted up on a five man, our five man is going. All right, I'm gonna defend the flex. All right, the flat ball screen. All right, but it's all, we'll do all this. It's gonna come down to this. Can we guard our yard? Can we get into our pack line? No paint, no foul. And then when the shot is taken, we gotta block out one shot. Attack the down. All right, we want to attack the big, the driving kick. All right, we can throw it back, dribble hand up. All right, we can change the angle of the screen, or we're like this, boom, and we just pass the ball and attack it on the other side. Good team, fellas, they handle success. They want more. They're not happy. They're not satisfied. They know how they got it, and they continue to do it over and over. They repeat it over and over. Our goal is to win the Atlantic 10. You don't win it with two games. All right, you don't win it with two wins. All right, we need our first one, fellas, here. First one. We need number three overall. All right, and you have an opportunity, fellas. You got 11 more of them. 11 more. 11. Six more here. All right, take advantage of it and enjoy it. Let's go, y'all. Y'all already know what we came here to do. We don't need to say no more. Let them have family on three. One, two, three. Family. You love your job. <laughs> love your job, baby. Love your job. Let's go. You love your job. <laughs> Anymore? 
when you have success, you want most guys, good teams, good players, want more success. They don't stop working. Hey, everything's going well. You got to know what we're getting from you every night. You can't be one day here. Everybody look at me. One day here, and one day at the bottom. And that's what we got. We had it down to what, six coach? Four straight turnovers. Yep. Four. Four out of and six possessions. We don't know what we're doing. We draw it out, fall low, we go to the wrong spots. We didn't execute. We turned the ball over. We dribble the ball. We're not fundamentally sound. We're not fun. We try to cross over right in front of guys. We're not fundamentally sound. And that catches up to you. One time you take a bad shot. All right, you're back. You can't do it again. One time you get blown by baseline. My, my bad. You can't do it again. We just keep on doing it. You can't re get a ball and re dribble it. Yeah, my bad. We do it again. Over and over and over again. My bad. Look at me out, coach. Are you serious? We didn't play. We didn't deserve to win. Great rotations, great rotations. All right, we need to front the post, no low post touches, charges, and loose balls. Charges and loose balls. Lockouts on foul shots as well. Lockouts. Long shots, long rebounds. Chase them down, guards. Chase them down. Great energy, great effort, and great enthusiasm. How do we get off to a great start? You get stops. And you get scores. Stops and scores. First one at home. All right, first one at home. At 6 o'clock, fellas, at 6 o'clock, we want this. At 6 o'clock, we want number three in the Atlantic 10. All right, at 6 o'clock, fellas, we got to stop protecting our house, our, our house, the rally center. And that begins in six minutes. <laughs> career games and uh, just felt comfortable out there. Um, my teammates found me in open spots and I was able to make shots and it was just a good friend. No pressure at all. I mean, you know, I've been playing the game since I was little, so you know, it's, it's you know, I love the game. It's, it's fun to play, and you know, I knew I had to step up, and, and you know, and, uh, for Matt since he was out, you know, he brings he brings a great deal of offense to me, so I know I had to fill that void. It's a great feeling, um, because you you bring you bring an added energy to the crowd. You know, our. You know, our uh, our fans are, you know, the Wolfpack is unbelievable. So for me to hit that shot at the halftime was big for us. You know what I'm saying? It's a big stop, big stop, big three. Big stop, big three. Scores, fellas. Stops and scores, stops and scores. 20 minutes, good job. 20 more minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. First five minutes, fellas. Let's execute down the stretch, good job. All right, don't walk it, push it, let's go. Let's go. All right, big guy, drag screen and go right to the block, inside out, inside out. We've got 20 minutes, fellas. 20 minutes to be one up. All right, we got the first five minutes of the second half now. Now we're gonna come out with energy, we're gonna come out on fire. Stops and scores, charges, being tough, being hard to play against. All right, hard to play against for the next 20 minutes, All right? The offense isn't going. Help your teammate by playing defense, by rebounding the ball, by doing the little things. 
you got it. 20 more minutes, fellas. Number one. Anything else, coaches? Gotta go earn it. Finish. Finish. Gotta go earn it. Gotta go earn it for 20 minutes. Let's go. 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 It's awesome. I mean, we're all brothers, you know. You know, we we're a family, and you know, we say it we say it every day. You know, here in practice and everything we do as a team. So um, it's just it's great when you know when one of us succeeds. You know, we all succeed. So that's that's our mindset on it. We gotta work. We gotta work. We gotta work. We gotta work. That's what it takes. Coaches, anything? Stay in the gym. Jordan Gallo has been in the gym all the time. Five for five, 13 big points. That's what we gotta have. We gotta keep working. At it. You gotta pay keep dues. working. Pay at it. dues. Pay dues. Win wins. Long time. We keep on working, fellas. In the gym. In the gym. In the gym. Make sure we have study hall tomorrow too. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. Hey, autograph session, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Autographs. Autographs. My autograph. Yeah, autograph. 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 Do we get a piece of the pizza on the way? Okay, bro. No pizza. 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 I'm sick on Monday. Hold on, bro. I got to stay on, bro. Yeah, buddy. You might just get off the ball. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right, one time. Same thing, Chris. It's up this way. So as, as he turns, that's a rip, that's a steal. 
It's all positioning and recognizing what they're trying to do. They go right now, boom, take that middle guy away. Because you take the freeze. You take that middle guy away, right? He's got to, boom, now we've got you, and now he's going to, what's he going to do? Right? And then once you swing it here, you blow him up even further. Right? But it's soft, look, look. Right? You're not taking his legs away. You've got to break his thigh. Break his thigh. Okay, coach. All right, now, our coach is going to introduce Butler. All right, a great opportunity, fellas. A great place to play. A great opportunity. They were ninth in the country. Right, they lost to St. Louis, and they got blown away by St. Louis. They played Rhode Island. Rhode Island was up by two at halftime. All right, this is a team, fellas, that we can win if we play. All right, if we play. Right. Xavier plays them every year. Right. This year they're playing them twice. Right. Every year. And I talked to Coach Matt today. Coach, tell me about Butler. He goes, you better tell your guys. Right. This is the most, the nastiest team they'll ever play. Right. They look like choir boys. Right. But if you don't want to rebound, or if you don't want to get hit, then don't go. Right. They're going to throw elbows. They're going to do everything, anything they can to win the game. That's how they play. Right? And you cannot, you cannot back down. Right? You've got to sustain your effort for 35 seconds every possession. And we talk about the tougher team's going to win. Right? The tougher team will win on Wednesday. Right? You'll have 10, 12, 13,000 people at the game. That would be a great environment. Right? But understand, this, this team is beatable. Right? Why did St. Louis beat them? They kicked them physically. They beat the and what usually Butler does, <coughs> they got done to them. Right? And that's how we have to play. Right? The nastiest team that you'll have played. Right? And we can't blank, take a step back. We gotta meet them. We gotta meet them. Right? We can't be afraid to get hit. Right? Because Max said the first time you're gonna get an elbow right to the throat. Right to the throat. Right? Now are we gonna back up? Or we're gonna keep on going. Right? We gotta play. A great opportunity. A great opportunity. Right? A winnable game. Rhode Island lost by six, I think, or seven. Up by two at halftime. And St. Louis blew them all by 15, 18 points. Right? We have a chance, but we got to play. we got to play. Mm -hmm. All right, Dick Clark, uh, six foot, 184 pound senior guard. Jordan, you'll see him. Matthew, Charlon, Michael, you guys will all guard him. All right, we're going to put a lot of different looks on him. Bigger guys, quicker guys. All right, we're going to make this guy's his night miserable. Plays the one and the two, three-point shooter. All right, he's getting 3.6 uh, made threes per game. All right, 48.6% for three. All right, he's shooting 70% um, of his made baskets of threes. All right, so he's a dead three. All right, we say that about different guys. He's a dead three. He's a three-point shooter, three-point shooter. Um, he's played three less games than anybody on their team. He's taking 80 more shots, all right, 80 more shots than anybody else on that team. He's played three less games. He got hurt. Uh, against Xavier, hurt his neck, and he had to sit out for a few games. All right, he's the only guard really that can create off the bounce. All right, so he's coming off ball screens, looking to shoot. If we get caught on uh, ball screens, we don't go over the top, or we don't show hard on him. He's going to shoot the ball from anywhere on the floor. All right, Keys guys defended the known. All right, Clark's the known. Number 15 is getting 17 points a game. Not that those other guys are stiffs, but he's the guy. All right, he's taking any more shots in three less games. We got to chase, challenge, and contest. All right, chase, challenge, and contest. When he's coming off staggers. Our bigs have to do a great job supporting. When it's coming out ball screens, we have to do a great job of showing heart. All right, it's not just Jordan, it's just not Matt, it's just not Charlon. Everybody's <coughs> going to know where this kid is. Everybody's going to know where he is, and we're going to make him take a lot of shots to get his points. A lot of shots, a lot of contested shots. Have to have great half court team defense. All right, when you watch the St. Louis game, St. Louis drilled them. All right, they played great. They're a good team. All right, they took five charges. All right, they took five charges on them. They had 20, 20 they, they forced 23 turnovers. All right, they, St. Louis is a little different than we are. They get out and deny a little bit, but they got 20, they committed 23 turnovers. All right, they forced 23 turnovers.
you know, we didn't have an offensive rebound in the first half. Um, you know, I, I thought the game was won in the, the last three minutes of the first half. You know, I think it was 29-27. Uh, they were like uh, 23 on that day. Get up by nine. Um, and then we couldn't score at the beginning of the second half. Um, but, they, you know, they're, they're good. You know, we knew it was going to be a tough game. Um, you know, when they shoot the ball, you know, make 11 threes there, which, you know, I think six and a half threes a game, they make 11. Uh, they're, they're tough. We're just going to continue to work at it and, you know, get better and try to win the next game. We didn't get a chance to uh, go shoot around because uh, nobody had power, so we kind of had to walk through in the hotel room, which we do when we have an early game. It was normal, but it was a little off because it wasn't the same. There was no power. It was a little cold in the hotel. It smelled like gas a little bit in the generators. But... We all knew it was a must-win game for us. Uh, no matter who was doing the score, we just we needed that game badly at this point of the season. That was pretty much the motivation all, all weekend that we needed the Rhode Island game. I think he draws more plays up for me when I make his shots than rather than when I do. But um, I mean, I just whether you make it or you miss, you just go on to the next shot. You can't really worry about what happened before. Me myself, I try not to get caught up with just being like a dead three-point shooter. I try to, I tried to drive a little bit more that game. Sometimes I ended up shooting a lot more threes than what I usually do. With, with all the adversity that we had, we showed some fight. We really played, you know, especially in the second half. We struggled um, offensively in the first half. We had ten turnovers. We had three in the second half. We, you know, we had eight, eight um, assists. You know, Eric played tremendous. Hit some big shots, especially the one at the end. Um, we showed some toughness. We guarded 38%, 33% in the second half. And, you know, it was a great victory. It's, you know, it's a tough environment. You know, no one's here, and, but uh, we found a way. It was a great victory. Why is academics first like Understand, this is the tough time of the year, right? the tough time of the year, right? And sometimes you have to be reminded that you have to study. Sometimes you use it in the, as an excuse, like, oh, I was away, oh, the, 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 the power went out, oh, I had, I had basketball. There, there's no excuse for not keeping up with your studies. There's plenty of time, there's plenty of time. And make sure you're on time for everything, you're doing what you're supposed to do academically. I was listening to it, 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 every Monday is, is the Atlanta 10 media day. And, and Phil Montelli was, he's on two coaches before me. You know, you know they were running late or whatever. So I, I listened to what he was, at, what he was talking about. Right? And, and he says very few guys, I mean, he, he mentioned Nicholson. Right? Very few guys go on to play professional basketball. Very few. Right? Most have to get a job. Most have to get a job, and all have to get a job sometime, sometime. Maybe, maybe it's after three years of, of playing professional basketball. But sometime you've got to get a job. And if you don't have your degree, the job you're going to get, you're going to hate. 
you're going to hit. What we're going to do out here from 5 to 7 is really important. But it's not going to get you stronger. It's not going to improve your skill level. Right, you'll get the game plan. This is how we're going to play it. And we'll go over the game plan. Right, but it's not going to help you shooting. It's not going to help you ball handling. You've got to do that on your own. It's not going to make you stronger. You've got to do that on your own. Right, don't forget, lifting and working on your game. You can't be a five to seven guy. Five to seven guys, they fail. They fail. We have less than a month to go. Less than a month to go. Our last game is March 9th. That's all that's guaranteed to us. Nothing about Brooklyn. Right? March 9th. Right? Today is the 11th of February. We have less than a month. Less than 30 days. That's all we have left. Seniors, that's all you have left. What are we going to make of the last 30 days? Right? Do we want to play that eight game? That's the first round in Brooklyn. Do we want to play that ninth game? That's the semifinals in Brooklyn. That's up to you guys. Right? On Saturday night, we, made a, we had a win that helped us. That improved our, our chances. But we're still, and you look at the board, right? we're still fighting. Right now, I think we're 11. We're 11. We're still fighting, and every game is important. Every game. Uh, we're not eight and two. Uh, we gotta fight. We gotta fight if we want to get there. Every game, and here comes another home game. Uh, we gotta take care of business. Is it hard? Absolutely. It'll be difficult. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. The is really good. They beat VCU. They beat. They beat Butler. They're really good. Like, but we can beat them if we play our right game. That's how small a margin. It is in conference play. A small margin as there ever will be. Right? So don't forget, it's the little things that become the big things that help you win. The kicking game. Three out of bounds plays that we executed, that we made, that helped us win. My right, coach. Okay, guys. Here's some of the defensive stuff. Still need to improve on. Gotta get this run back. Watch, watch yourself, Chris. Where's the ball? So we're just walking into position. Look at us. All right, same thing now. Mitch, watch how far off the ball you are going off that over that screen. Now, Jordan, watch. Look, run it back. Watch your stance. Is that Jordan up top there? Yeah. Jordan, watch your stance. Where are you going? All right, run it back. Is he? Run it back up. Is he beat? We gotta be in a stance now. All right, same thing now, Chris. All right, where should you be? Jordan's helping too much, not in the stance. Where should you be? If you're in the right position, now you can bluff at Jordan's man. Jordan overcommitted, right? Meets did a horrible job getting through the screen. He's way off. Look, all right now, too much help. And there's the three. All right, Jordan, what did you want to do there? Bluff earlier, right? Well, you're not in a stance. We're standing straight up. I bluff earlier. See how you bluff too late? It's almost like you're bluffing and he's passing. You know what I'm saying? Right, if you bluff a dribble before, two dribbles before, then you're in the right position. Chris, if you bluff, we got they don't have a shot. But we're out of position. There's a rotation. Now run it back, Mike. Where's she? Run it back. You gotta see this now, Freeze. What, what's happening now, Mike? All right, just run it back a little bit. All right, this guy's screening. All right, if he screens and pops here, who, who's going to help? Yeah, you got to get over. But you're, you're locked down to your dad. All right, you got to be over here. And now as he rolls, now you got to help. If he keeps on going, then that's Demetrius. Mitch, how you got to rotate here? You want to rotate with guy, everybody. You want to rotate. When you rotate weak side, you rotate with your hands. I know, but same thing, Mike. Where should you be now? You should be. You should have 34. Or throw whatever his number is. This isn't easy here, Meeks. Now, this is two on one. Okay, this is two on one. Not easy. 
you want to at least try to get a piece, get your hands out in the passing lane and get a piece of this. Or we're going to give up a dunk. Mike's out of position. Matt's not rotating. There's no way we need to give up a dunk there. Screen, fellas. Good luck. Good catch. You got to screen better there. We got to screen. We got to screen. We want to look for the lob first. Nice action. This was good to us. Good find. First play of the second half. Run it back, coach. Run it back. You see, see how you sprint it out? That's what you got to do. And that same thing, Eric. As soon as point guards, you've got to read now. All right? And it's a quick read. As he's going off, all right, you've got to recognize, all right, this guy's being taken away. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be open? Either you, Sue, or here. All right, now, Chris, you got, is this Chris? You're going to raise up a little bit. All right, right in the hip. All right, this is the look. This is the look. And it's going to be quicker than that. Quicker than that. Good thing. Good bucket. That's what it starts to have. If they take away Meach, that's the look. They got most of their guys back. All right, most of their guys back. All right, Coach. All right, we're set off six and three. Coming off a uh, home win. Uh, smash. Uh, four of my home. It started like this. Uh, Dern, Eric Delvin, you. Six foot, 185 junior, Charline, Jordan, 14 points a game, quick scoring point guard, drive both ways. Um, usually it's a layup or a three with him. It's a layup or a three, loves to drive and kick, 79 assists, uh, 60 turnovers. Uh, you gotta find him early, keep him in front, keep out the paint, contest his shots, uh, take charges, go to the uh, whole line of high control. Gotta be ball strong around him, have 46 steals on the season. So he's always gambling, reaching for three man. Galloway, Chris, uh, that'll be you. Ultimate green light. Ultimate green light. Take 25 footers, shoot from the hash, the logo. He's not blinking, okay? High energy guy, 50 steals on the season. He's getting 17 points a game. Always in attack mode. Always in attack mode. Crafty with the ball, let the right cross over. Split screens, hesitates. Always looks for back cut. He'll take deep shots. It's like 42% on the season from three. Uh, find him early, limit his touches, contest his shots. With him, you can't go under any screen. Okay? You got to go over the top of the wall screen. If you step back, like I said, he's shooting it deep. Um, take charges, box him out. Half court defense, guard your yard. Your mentality has to be I got my man, you got my back. I know I got my man, but I know you got my back just in case. That's why we got to be in our position. Uh, feet in the right position. Uh, bluffing early. Understand, hold on, understand, and for the, all the guys, you guys, they're going to run four game, right? Four game. It's not as much as four games. Four out, one in, and they're just driving. If we can't guard our yard, then we got no chance against these guys. You've got to be able to guard them. They space you out. Right? It's four out, one in, and then it becomes open where the five men come up and set a ball screen. Roll, and they're driving and kicking. That's their game. They're, they run some stuff, stack five, and but they two things they do. Run a low when they go big, four out one in when they go small. And four out one in, they put the five in opposite, and they, they just dribble drive it. You've got to be able to guard our yard. I look at the board, they see the standings, what one game can do for you. Okay, the value of this game is huge. We can get win number five, we can shoot up in the rankings of this, but take care of business. Okay, this is another opportunity that we got that we can't let slip away. So we got to be focused, we got to know what we're doing, and we got to do it together. In the half court, execute. Fundamentals. How do you get open? How do you get open? You gotta be cut. You gotta shorten up your pass. All right, you gotta run through the basketball. All right, you gotta back cut. All right, we must screen, cut, hard, hard. All right, and make sure we're slipping screens as well. All right, attack the paint with the pass or the dribble. Attack the paint. And then get to the offensive glass, three, four, and five. We want 15 offensive rebounds. All right, you do it, fellas, with great energy, great <laughs> effort, and great enthusiasm. you got to play with an edge. All right, right on the verge. Right on the verge of being dirty. Right on the verge. Chippy. All right, you got to compete every possession if we want to win. Every possession. We can't take one off. Like, oh, yeah, coach, I jogged that time. That is unacceptable. Unacceptable. All right, this is going to be a team effort, fellas, if we're going to win. A team effort. All of you guys are going to have a part in this. The 
tougher teams win. Tougher teams win. Charges, loose balls, doing all those little things. Those little things. All right? Harder, smarter, more together. All right? And you've got to take the game to them. All right? They're coming into our house. You've got to take the game to them. All right? We're not being a counterpuncher. All right? We're attacking them. We're attacking them. All right? Number two of five at home. Number five overall in the Atlantic 10. Salas just for ten inside. An excellent block coming across the lane. Endoy, he took out his good friend Gathers. A lot of contact there. And then Endoy steps over and takes the charge, starting to make up for those early mistakes. And it's seven for 14 from threes, went both for five. Right, getting outscored 21 to nothing from threes. Now, can they continue to do it? If we defend like we did the last five minutes, no, they ain't gonna be able to continue to do it. Right? But we gotta make sure, fellas, that we're guarding. And where does it start? On the ball. On the ball. This is them. That's it. All right now, if they're way, if they're way out here, right, we don't need to pressure them out there. All right, now, 28 feet, I, that, that's where 55 is going to shoot them from. So we got to play 28 feet and in, we got to play. We got one charge. You know, Coach Massey, four more. If we take four charges in the second half, we'll win the game. We got to play team defense, and when they get in that lane, we got to make them pay. Take charge, step, step up. up. Okay, step okay. off. When we play up to this point, all of us can understand we have the issue, okay? They got a lot of open shots, so the shit that they Galloway and Garland got 26 points. Okay, we got 27 in the team. Those two guys we gotta make. Make somebody else do something besides what you go to do. Right now, offensively, right, we wanna push the ball. Right, we've had some looks and we're missing them. All right, second half, we'll stop making it. But we cannot pound the ball. But we're not. Because we hung in there defensively. Right, now we gotta come and now we gotta put it all together. All right, both defense and offense together. Right, and we gotta make up first five minutes of the second half. We gotta come up. Right, we gotta stop them, and we gotta get scores, fellas. We gotta get scores. In this gym every day. Keep moving the basketball, the playing ball. together. We'll knock down shots all day in the second half. Let's go now. Move the ball. Move the ball. Runner, move the ball. Move the ball. Okay. Now watch that five play out and stuff, and watch live coming out. All right. Let's go now. Let's go now. Let's go now. Let's go now. things you show is what you're capable of defensively. That's one of the hardest teams in the league to guard man to man. There's no doubt about it. They got good players. They beat a lot of good teams. And you held them to 28% in the second half and six field goals. That's what we're capable of as a team. And that's what we need to take with us for these next games, these next six games that we have. Because if we play that type of defense for 40 minutes over these next six games, there's not one game we can't win. And that's what we're going to have to do. 
should eat you alive. Should eat you alive. It's the only way you get better.